going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's finally time for the long awaited backyard giveaway project. We are gonna cover this entire build in just one video. You'll learn more about the deserving individual that we chose in a little bit, but right now we need to get to work because we only have one week. We have Goliath Tech here installing our helical piles. Let's go. Let's rewind really quick just to give some context about six months ago we put out to all of our followers that we wanted to do a backyard giveaway for somebody that gives back to their community. We got hundreds of submissions and after sifting through them we landed on Troy from Return Kindness. He's doing some amazing things in the community. You'll learn more about his mission in a little bit. Right now we have to get to work. Actually, day one, we're starting the demo. We've got six and a half days to complete this. So uh, time to get to work, get this down, start framing the deck and everything else. Let's go. Bye bye. <laughs> First uh, little hiccup. We got a lot of rot here. Not only was this not flashed properly, it was not locked in for justice at all. Ant just ripped it off with one hand. But look at this. Look how much it's moving. We've got like, like one or two nails per joist bay. This is terrible. We gotta like rip all that siding off. It's not looking good. Right, it's not looking great. It's not looking good at all. Catherine, you see all this rot? Yeah, that's why I got out of the van. You saw it from the van? I saw it from the van. Or did you yeah. smell it from the van? <laughs> I honestly thought I farted. Like, oh, oh really? God, that stinks. But yeah. I think it was actually just the wood. It's the rot. All right, well. It's a lot of rot. I can't believe it didn't fall down, to be honest. Yeah. It's like, there was like no nails in it, and it was like so rotted. All right, well, you just gotta fix it. All right. Six and a half days. Can you do it? Six and three quarter now. <laughs> Six and three quarter days. This right here, it's not good. Water has just been sitting on there. Uh, not a lot of sun, so it's gonna accelerate that process. And not something that we were expecting, but it is something that we will address and get this patched up. Make sure the next deck is not on the brink of falling down. Before we get too much further, let's talk about what we're going to be building here. The previous deck wasn't too small, but it wasn't quite big enough to be functional. So we're going to expand that footprint, have a dining area, plus a bar and a spot for a grill. We're going to do a privacy wall on the one side to separate it from the neighbors. All of that is going to lead down to the patio relaxation space. We're also going to do some hanging swings or chairs, something for the kids off of that really cool tree. And the thing that's going to tie it all together is going to be a custom water feature in between the two spaces. I'm really excited to bring this to life. Let's go. This is like a great end of the day. Yeah. What time we get here? 10:30? I'd say like more. Yeah. I'd say more like 30 of 11. 30 to 11? Yeah. And then we took lunch immediately, so four hours. Demo to whole deck. Fixed framing. Got this thing ready to go. We'll fly with Joyce tomorrow. Well, we got inspection on Monday, so. And what we have hangers. We have Tico nails. We're good. 12 more to six inch lag. Oh, okay. Tony, you got that? Yeah. All right. All right. All right, so we are on day two here. It's very exciting, things are moving very quickly. We already have our frame up. The guys are running joists. I'm cutting mid-span blocking, so they are just ready to go when they need it. We have inspection scheduled for Monday, so we need to get this done, get this ready. Uh, let's see what they're doing. Running joists, day two. 
Joists go up pretty quick. We've got a little bit of rain happening. We gotta finish this by the end of the day because we have inspection scheduled. Uh, what? Sorry. So we gotta get this done. Uh, we're gonna work around the rain. We got a lot to do today, but it's going up pretty quick. Should be in good shape. Although this is a backyard giveaway, for whatever legal reasons, yada, 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 we had to actually charge something for this project, so we decided, how about $1? That seemed pretty good, and it was still a good deal. All right, so let's meet the deserving individual who won our backyard build contest, Troy Green. He is the founder of the New Jersey nonprofit Return Kindness, but let's hear it from him in his own words. We are a nonprofit that focuses on giving back to the community, practice a lot of random acts of kindness. 2009, I was involved in an accident. A stranger kind of saved my life. Since then, it's been a, kind of like a payback to society as a thank you. It's not always about spending money, it's just about how you react certain situations. You know, if you see somebody fall, nowadays everybody pulls out their phone and recorder instead of helping them back up. I want to change that. I just want to be able to have a foundation that's truly a legacy. We're all not promised tomorrow. Okay, now let's get back to work. All right, it's day three here. We have uh, the rest of the week to finish this up. Just about done framing. We got our framing inspection, so time to get this prep for decking and keep it moving because uh, we've got bad weather again this week and we have less than five days now. Let's go. We gotta finish this by Friday. It's raining. When is it gonna stop? Right it's done. Right it's about an hour. Uh, Give it on that. It's like lunch time. We'll take lunch. So it's okay. not eating in our time right now. Oh, okay. We only got four and a half more days. All right. Easy. Well, I'm not gonna do much belt off. Yeah, where's my belt? I don't wanna get wet. I don't know where it went. Who knows? Where, I don't know where he put it. Who knows? See, look, it's already getting softer. All right, uh, we're taking a break on day three because uh, Troy got a call. We're, we're gonna see what this is all about, return kindness. We're gonna film a little bit. What is it? We're gonna hook somebody up with. We want a random gift back, somebody uh, from local person in time of need. Local person in time of need, and uh, we're gonna see what it's all about. We're gonna groceries and smiles. Groceries and smiles, so uh, let's go, I'm excited. All right, we're here at uh, ShopRite, about to Surprise somebody that uh, is going through a bit of a rough time. Troy, what are we gonna do? Get them what they need. Get them what they need. So uh, it's pretty cool. Kind of see what what this is all about. Turn kindness. Get she was done. like only getting healthy stuff, and I'm like, you have a 10 and a 13 year old. We need yeah, we need we need some snacks.
We got you something, Tony. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy You're not supposed birthday. to sing to yourself. <laughs> you gotta be part of everything. Happy birthday, dear Tony. Happy birthday to you. Oh, <laughs> <Yay. three. laughs> That was from Troy. Thank you, Troy. Thank you. Oh, oh. good here we got the uh, decorators venture boards going down these are a uh, bit of an entry-level composite so they have a scalloped bottom love the color of those it's our first time using it what color is this sandbar sandbar yeah I think I'll check on that Quick little tip for you here. We have to cut about uh, 75 or 100 of these decorator sandbar pieces at 52 and a half inches. So what I've done is create a jig here. We've got it measured out. Boom. That's it. Super easy, make a jig. Day four, who would have thought, more rain. It's barely rained like all year. The one time we're doing a backyard giveaway, we have to finish it in seven days. It's rained every single day. But hey, at least it's not, uh, at least we're not fishing, right? It's not the, bad day works better than a good day fishing. When was the last time you went fishing? Have you ever gone fishing? Uh, one time. And it was yeah, but we were using pepperoni as bait, so we were getting like some nasty little pepperoni fish. Scalp board. Doesn't look great. What I've done is ripped eighth inch off of the edge of a solid edge board. I'm gonna turn it into one thread. Now how am I gonna do that? 2P10, it's in our Amazon store. This stuff's amazing, check this out. You just gotta really be careful because it's so freaking sticky. Okay, that's the adhesive. This is the activator. You just gotta be, you gotta be quick with it. That's it, last thing I'll do. It pretty much bonds instantly. Got a little scallop on this corner, round it off, voila. There you go. I'm ungettable. Can't get me. You're not ungettable. I'm ungettable. <laughs> All right, day five. We're on day five already? Day five. Oh. Uh, so three more days, including today. Okay. We need to uh, finish the patio. Pat patio day. Patio day for some of us. I need you still on the deck. Yeah, we got button up some odds and ends. We're going to work on getting all of the pavers installed. Okay. Um, hopefully that doesn't even take all day and we can jump on tying up some some deck stuff but okay. if you can finish up the bar on it um all the trim on it we need to get the front of that wall before you put the the two by uh Six. frame around yep. it put the ice and water shield yeah. on it you're gonna button up can, can we get the stair railing up today yeah. let's go day five three more days Henry's back. Morning. <laughs> Is it Thursday? We can't get rid of him. 
Thursday. He works here. It's not Thursday. It's Wednesday. It's day six, two more days. Uh, we got jump on this water feature. We got that figured out. Catherine, we got that figured out? All figured out. We on the same team? We're not fighting about it. We're not fighting about it. <laughs> no one's fighting about this water feature because we all need to be unified. We're gonna finish this up and then we are going to kind of start bringing everything together with our landscape, moving dirt. Sod just got here. A little early on that, but yeah. it's good to have it. We gotta get it when they can deliver it, you know? Yeah. All right, let's go. Day seven, AKA the final day. We have to finish up all of the little details. We've got uh, this water feature area. We've got sod, we've got plants, we've got joint fill. We got a lot of stuff to do today. Sod, did I say that already? Sod, we gotta do that. We got so much to do. Catherine, Catherine's working on finishing up the water feature. Yep. We're almost done with the adorn stone. Walk us through this special feature. Okay, so this water feature is going to be a more of like a waterfall, I guess you could call it. So we built this basin, trimmed it all out, got all the Adorna, and then now what we're gonna do, we're getting to the complicated part, we're gonna plumb it. So we're gonna have a bit of a U, U bend come out here, and then it'll trickle water down into this beautiful basin that we built. So stay tuned, it's gonna be really cool, but we're not gonna show it to you until we're done. So hold on. Finishing up some of our blocks edging we're going around this tree and we're doing river rock inside so we got all of our river rock up against the tree then we can finish up this edge block spread all this out then start getting some topsoil around it start with our sod hopefully we got we got money making mike g helping out today shout out when did you start following us on on youtube how many subscribers dude it was like 1180 subscribers we're on day seven we're gonna get all these planted. We got mulch, we got lighting, we got a whole bunch of stuff. So, uh, Sean, tell us the name of the plants. We got zebra grass, we got a car forcener, we got a nandina, we got a uh, little juniper, we got some little dwarf, uh, what are they? Little fescue? Little dwarf fescue, we got a couple hydrangeas. Uh, it's all coming together, so it's just, this is just go time. A lot of the thinking's done, now it's just go. Two socks, baby. Putting together a water feature unit, what do we call it? The, the feature. Spout. The spout? 
the the spigot. Spigot doesn't sound fancy at all. How about uh, cascading waterfall accoutrement? That. And uh, so we're soldering this together. And don't worry, I just looked up a YouTube video on how to solder. So we are completely fine. All right, let go. Is this gonna? Looks good to me. All right. Doing the final cleanup, we have uh, some sod to go down, a couple plants, and then some cleanup, and that's a wrap. So we're gonna get this completely finished up. I told Troy Monday we're gonna come back just to do a walkthrough and get some pictures, but we got one more surprise for him. So stay tuned. All right, Troy's been out all day. We uh, just finished everything up. We cleaned it. We told him that we're just gonna come clean and uh, do a walkthrough with him, but we didn't tell him that we're gonna surprise him with a whole bunch of furniture and a grill. So uh, he's gonna get to see it. I'm really excited to show him this all put together. Let's go. Well, he's on vacation right now. <laughs> you're gonna knock on something. Or you get a phone call, you know what? All right, we got Troy here and we're ready to reveal the backyard. Move that mobile command center. up with furniture we figured you got to be able to use it right away so we got it all set up let's give you the tour all right so we'll start here on the patio we've got the centerpiece here which is custom water feature Catherine why don't you take it over tell us about the idea the execution and what this final product is so when we showed for the design we asked him if he if he liked it and if he would add anything and this is what he said he would like so we were so excited to do that I was very excited to do it. And what we decided on was more of like a waterfall feature because we had this blank wall. Sean was the solder master behind this in case you're looking at these joints. So anyway, so this water feature is a copper pipe that trickles down into this basin uh, full of river rock. And it makes a beautiful sound. We also added in some lighting up top that's gonna illuminate this at night because uh, that's the best time to hang out out here is at night. So we've got lighting all over the place. It's gonna be lit up like Christmas tree. It's lit. It's lit. Exactly. <laughs> he gets it. We've obviously used the Adorn Stone a lot. We love it. We wanted to take it to the next level, and I think we achieved that with the water feature wall. We're addicted to water features now. We can't get enough, and we didn't fight about it at all. Not even once. Troy here on the patio. We've got Dow Tile exteriors, porcelain, one of the strongest materials known to mankind. You now have it on your patio. We've got the chill area here where you can just kick back, relax, a couple chairs. I know that the kids are gonna wanna hang out here, so we got some nice little hammock swing chairs. <laughs> we also did some low voltage String lights up top, so it's gonna get a little bit of that ambiance that's so nice. What do you think, Troy? I love it. It's crazy, isn't it? Some over. <laughs> so we'll start over here, opposite side of our water feature wall. So it'd be really cool to add some functional seating here. We've got the bar. We've hooked you up with a couple bar stools so you can look over the patio. You can look out into the backyard, hang out, chill, relax as you are cooking on your brand new. We reached out to our friends over at Big Green Egg and they really wanted to send you one. So sent over the egg and a bunch of accessories. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Everything has, says egg. 
We've got the Decorators Venture Series. We've got salt water and sandbar. We've got our dining area full of accoutrement. My favorite part of this whole deck, we've got this privacy wall here. This was probably my favorite part of the whole build because we just kind of started going. Didn't have much of a plan. Had some of these extra boards. We've got the UFP Edge in Lost Trail. We ripped this down, put a gap in it, did the whole wall with that. And then I thought it'd be really cool to have this decorator's salt water go up the wall in a staggering pattern. Two inches from the edge of each board, we've installed a light. And then just a last minute idea I had was, I thought it'd be cool to connect some of these with the floating shelves. And we just used pro wood for that, stained it black. It turned out awesome, cool spot to hang some things, to put some plants, and to just set this off with a really cool ambiance and some privacy. Can't beat it. So that's pretty much it, Troy. Keep on returning kindness. Love and you Thank you. hopefully you out there can do something to return kindness to somebody else. That is pretty much it for this $1 backyard giveaway. Hopefully Troy's gonna love it and his whole family. But until next time, this has been Premier Outdoor Living.